one body. One body. And one spirit. One spirit. The Holy Spirit. That's the true wisdom, right? Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. In one hope of your calling. So we're gonna call come together as one and be in like mind. We read further down in um uh, Corinthians, um, 1 Corinthians 2 huh. and 16, it said we have the mind, we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Right. Uh, we have the mind of the power of the right. keep going. Verse 5. One Lord. One, one faith. Lord, one faith. Right. One baptism. Single one, mind, single heart, right? Single, single. If your eye be single, yep. then your body shall be full of light. Yep. Uh, yep. That's it. I made it. Verse 6. One That's power and father of all who is above all and through all in you all. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Bring it this, Bring it is, this is John 4 and 3, 23. But, uh, hold on, yeah, just, just, just. This is John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if you have the truth, why hide it from people to get for their chance to get salvation? Right. If that's, if that's the truth, maybe you're hiding because you know it's a lie. Maybe you're hiding because of the system. This whole system is set up to be a lie. We're in the matrix right now. The, the word for womb in the Bible is matrix. When you pass through the matrix, you come into this, enter into this world. The world was set up. We entered into this lifetime in, in the sin. In the lifetimes before we entered it, because this is not our first time being here. You know what I'm saying? They try to confuse you with the word death. But real death is, is not know, understanding the truth with the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yah, not knowing him. That's what death is. Right. All right. That physical death that they try to scare you with, they because they don't they don't want to teach you about reincarnation, right? Because guess what? If we really knew the truth throughout the whole time, we'd have been bucking the system. The most high had to take the truth away from us and put us in the darkness and dim that light. Yeah, but it was yeah. But the light, it was even though it was dim throughout our different time periods that we touched down on this earth for the ones that were gonna be out here to call out the apostles and the, and the disciples. It was dim, but it was always there, following throughout time and time, recording what they went what they went through each time. Then going back to the Father when we get when we when we die, going back to the Father, and He sent us back down here to do more work. Right. You see what I'm saying? So what work are you doing? Are the work of the powers of darkness or the powers of the light? Because when the true powers of the light show up, all darkness is going to cease. All darkness is going to be exposed. Uh, because uh. Yahweh Shai is the light of all men. All, right? yeah. all men are the children of Israel. All right? You okay. it this is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And that's the problem. Our people don't fear the Most High, man. They fear this system. Yo, yo, somebody walked by wicked. Yo, gay person walked by. According to the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to put them to death, but I can't. It's not that I fear the system, because I, I wish I could, but that's not the will that the Most High want right now. They're going to get their judgment. But what holds our people back is this system. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to go, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Financial. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to lose my job. That, that, that's, their fear is what hold a lot of people back from doing this work. Oh, my boss might see me out there teaching and he might fire me. Yeah. Or I don't want to shave my beard because I lose my job. Right. I don't want to keep my beard because I lose my job. Yeah, afraid, to, afraid to lose when they actually lose it anyway. And, and actually lose it anyway. Yeah. What does scripture say? He that try to save his life shall lose it. We're supposed to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Turn away from this world like the Lord did. Yeah. Yeah. Condemn this place. Yeah. Cause this place has got to go. Whether and and, and, and and whatever side you want, when he show up, hey, that's what's gonna happen to you. Whatever side you want. If you're on the wicked side, you're gonna reap the benefits of the, of the reward of the wicked. But if you're on the righteous side, you know what I'm saying. But the thing about it is, it's all about how you get there. Yeah, got This is Romans chapter twelve, we'll start at verse verse one. Keep the pill. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh. That you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That's what turn away. Somebody get um 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 John 17. Was it 17? 17. 17. 17. 17. 6. Manifest thy name. No, no, 9. I think. Alright, read that again. Are y'all the brothers that wear the purple the purple shirt? No, no, no. Because I've seen, I live down there. You ain't going to hear this from them. 
From them, you're going to hear that the Lord's name is Jesus. But you ask them their personal name, they're going to give you Hebrew name. That's a double minded person. 17 6. If I tell you my name is Hebrew, nine. right? And that Paleo nine. Hebrew? 17 Then you ask nine. me the Lord's name, I tell you his name is Jesus. You don't want to deal with a person like that, right? They're not professing the whole truth. Yeah, bottom line, you want the full truth. We open it up, we showing you everything. Them, they're going to hold back some stuff. They under a 501c3 charter, which limits you from telling the truth. That's a that's a that's a um a tax exempt contract that's put in place with the uh that's, that's the with churches too, huh? Right, with the IRS. Uh, so they like a damn they like a damn Baptist church. So yep. you see them, the purple, their leader is a cop. <laughs> His name is Bishop Nathaniel. Look him up. Detective. Yeah, detec detective. But you know what I'm talking about. Though. I know my brother that down completely. here during completely. Okay. You gotta pay them to learn certain stuff. Yeah, if you, you gotta pay them to right, go right. to certain classes. Ask him about this. <laughs> Everybody know about the, the market of beef. Oh. Oh, they <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody uh, know about this. Uh, sure. Everybody teach it. Market of beef a little bit. If you're not, you're familiar with it. People ain't even read the Bible no more. Yeah, if you ask them that shit, you already have it. Uh, oh, it's man, but, but it's hand. not in your hand, though. That's, that's, that's ownership. Not in your hand. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Alright. No, no, you could. Let's explain it. I'm yeah. You're a man just like me, bro. It's my job to explain it. Yeah, no, um, having it in our hand right here, this is different. But putting it in your body, that's ownership. They used to put something in your ear called a ooh for slavery. They put a bone through your ear and say, I own that person. That's what that means. When you put when you put that chip in you, they control you from that point on. Like having it in your phone, I can throw this away. Yeah, exactly. You I can me? throw the phone to the side. Yeah, I can cut it off, do all kind of stuff. Off yeah, they ain't gonna do shit. So yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But you put it in your hand, they own you now. And they can track you, follow you, cut it off, cut you off from society. The uh -huh. new world order, when they put a new currency in place, if you don't get that chip, you ain't gonna be in that new system. You can be like the highest form of capital. Yeah. Your brain, that, that's, that's gonna be a new brain. Yeah. And, and they, I'm talking about we it. This is it. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's first speak. Yeah. Revelation. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 13. I'm gonna start at verse, verse, yep. um, I'm gonna get straight to the point, verse 16. And he calls all. Both small and great. Right, the he that is talking about is the white man, Esau, is gonna cause all, all the people walking around, all the rich people, small and great, that's not in the Illuminati. Go ahead. Rich so, and so all the Masons, all the lodges, everybody. Go ahead. Rich and poor, yep. free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand right. or in their forehead. That mark that is talking about, you got a mark that you shoot at the target. You got a person named Mark, you got a mark you can put on your mm -hmm. body. This is a this mark here is Karagma. Which means a, a, an imprint into the hand. Right? In the Hebrew, it would be kwai kwai, which would be a prick into the hand. Right? We got Old Testament and New Testament, it means a prick into the body. And we're not supposed to get that. Somebody, in the scripture, tell us not even cut, get tattoos. Right? We got these before I was in the truth. I got this before I was in the truth. We all live our lives. Bro. No, 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 no. I got, I got it. I got, I, I got to explain it. Um, you, got it before, you got may have tattoos. You, you have them before you're in the truth. Uh, whatever you're doing sinning before you get into the truth like cutting your hair edge ups when you get into the truth you ain't gonna do that no more like I got my beard and I, and I don't get tattoos anymore. you feel me so alright uh, well, good verse 17 it says in that no man might buy or sell, right. sell you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell without that RFID chip and you see they setting it up on your card your debit card right you work in finance man right you said that debit cards they got the little chip on there now they, and they training us to say it when you go to the register what they say you got the chip and what are we forced to say yeah yes i have my chip yes even us we say it. i'm gonna slide that no i ain't gonna like no i'm gonna slide no i ain't got that shit. i got it you got it to where with some chip you don't got to insert into the machine you just yeah man they set they setting it up this is different between the nfc way yep I know it you says, probably get to define the difference yeah, between the two, but yeah. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark of the name of the beast, right. of the number of his name. Right, the name the name of the beast meaning uh, the purpose of the beast. And that beast is actually NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. All right? And that's the one that set up the military. That's the extension of the EU, the European Union. You know, all these countries, these rich banking companies, that countries where they from, London, you know, UK, all that. That's in the great horde of who? America. 
Well, oh, yeah. what, the cup in her hand with the philosophy, the wine, the lies that our people, with the world has been drinking from. Liberty's a so you got, you, got, you got the lies, you got uh, the whore, America, being passed around. What, they created the dollar with America? Liberty's and they use, and she loves to get fucked. Yeah, she does. She, she does. does. Yep. And what? They gave America the dollar, and they, through the dollar, they were able to bankrupt all the nations. You see that? See that and, American and, dollar. And that's it, crazy. Mm -hmm. George Soros, that's all he does. All he does is go around buying up other, other nations' currencies just, just, to, just to crash their economy. That, and that's, uh, that's, that's their whole mindset, man. Yep. Their whole mindset is not prosperity, it's, for, it's, it's to serve their own purpose. That's just it. Yep. And, uh, and the pimp, the pimp is these guys. America is the horse. Now they know with the horse. They're ready to move to the chip now. They, they created the dollar based on America. Now they're like, we're done with that system. They created that in 1971. They established it up with Nixon. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. dollar was created take back out, in 1920. Take out the gold standard. Yeah. Right. It's 1971. It's called the gold, the Nixon shock. But now they're ready to move away from that. They're ready to move to a cryptocurrency system. You know about that, right? Cryptocurrency. You heard of cryptocurrency problem. See that, right? They put it right in front of everybody's face, man. And they do something called the frog in the pot. You put a pot. You put a frog in a hot pot. It's gonna hop out. Put a frog in a cold pot and you steam it up real slow, they're gonna stay right in there like it's cold water. That's what our people's doing. Sheep led to the slaughter. Sitting in a, in a hot ass pot, boiling pot, getting cooked, they don't know it. They were doing the same Martin Luther King did. Yeah, yeah. Martin Luther King was stirring the pot. Ton, yeah, that makes sense. Right that makes sense. Like, Martin Luther King, he was a, he was a devil. He, he, was, he was against the Lord's plans. He was about bringing all of us together with Esau. The Lord is about separate. separate. He's a separatist. Basically, basically Martin Luther King. Yeah, that's deep. He said that's my Martin Luther King name everywhere and not Malcolm. Wow. They ain't trying to kill you shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, and Malcolm, <laughs> Malcolm, like you said, to, to, to your former, yeah. he, later on in his life, he saw, if he went to Mecca and he witnessed, he, he witnessed did, man. white man, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed, Caucasian man. Yep. At Mecca, he he changed. He changed like a mug, man. He changed. Yeah. And I I, I get you. I'm yeah. Following so he done went from a pimp to following the religion of a heathen, heathen, and then also blending in Esau with that. You know what I'm saying? And his way of thinking, being a rebel with the gun, that's not what the Lord said. The Lord said, "Wait ye upon me, till I rise up to the prey." And where is persecution at? If I'm coming at you with a gun, persecution is persecution. I'm putting that down. What's up? You gonna, you you gonna kill me? Yeah. You see that? That's persecution. That's what we out here for. You know, Esau can run up right now and gun us the fuck down. Oh, they teaching that Bible stuff. So we know that. You know? That's why it goes back to presenting your body as a living sacrifice. Right, yeah. man. In the description we read earlier. Right, man. Uh, any more points? Good. Oh, uh, I was just talking about Martin Luther King. YouTube or something? Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, it's, 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 it's I, I really don't Oh, okay. I'm talking about how he said I had a dream. I had a dream. So I'm going to go to uh, Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah. This is Martin Luther King right here in the Bible. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. It says, I have heard what the <laughs> prophet said. I yeah, have heard yeah, what yeah. the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name. Right. Same. Okay, okay, okay. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Basically, that was the same speech that um, Martin Luther King was saying. Saying his dream was seeing us a part of this system, seeing us engulfed in this system. That's what his dream was. Right. Living at Tower of Babel when they all was trying to, you know, get Tower together. Babylon? Yeah, Tower, Tower of Babylon. Tower, Tower of Babel. They all trying to, you know, Babylon. live together and everything like that. What happened? Most High made confusion, made division amongst them where they couldn't understand each other. And there was forces separate. But yeah, because they were trying to court, they were trying to come together, not according to his word. Right. Like and they said they were gonna build a tower yeah. to go to heaven. So they're trying to physically get there, but you gotta get there right. spiritually. Right. What was that scripture you read earlier? Be ye holy as I am holy. Uh -huh. And the word holy means to be separate. And the only way we we go how can we separate to be, whole. To be separate? Holy means to be separated. It makes you whole in, in a sense. Separate from these nations. Whole as one nation uh, amongst ourselves as Israel. We're separate from these nations. We're not Chinese, we're right. African American, we're not black, we are Israelites. That's right. Yasserali. And what so, makes us separate? I'm walking up the street next to you, next to you, you know, they, we like you said, our skin color. We we the same to them. But what makes us separate is the laws that I keep, right? 
the laws that I keep is going to show my faith. Me having a beard, uh, me keeping the holy days. You know, the way I treat you around your woman, if, if I don't try to talk to your wife, if she's sitting there, you feel me? These things separate me from a nigga. You know, I can't be called a nigga no more. I'm an Israelite now, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because I'm keeping the ways of Yahweh. And that's what separates me from this world. Uh, these holidays that they celebrate, I don't celebrate that, you know? Tell me about it. Right, right, man. So what, what? I hold the same money you have, probably not the same amount, but the difference is not you, but with the people, the love of the money. Our love is to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The word love just means order. It's not an emotional feeling. Love is order. If you love me, keep my commandments, right? So these people are in love with the dollar. They love this, uh, this system, right? So they're in order under the system. Boom, they're keeping the commandments of the dollar going to work every day. Not saying you gotta work to eat, but that's what they thrive on. That's that's what like <clears throat> if they if they if they get abundance of substance on this earth, they feel like that's a blessing to them. Yeah. But it's what the scripture say a gift can destroy the heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you and you and you become comfortable in the system, money can yeah. make you comfortable in the system. And if we work at the same job, what's gonna make me separate from you is that I, when I when we leave here. I'm going to do the work of your house. That's what makes me separate, even in the work. You know what I mean? We can work the same job. We can have the same money. But my love is not set on the money. He said you can't love God and mammon. You know what I mean? So, you got to, at some point, this, I'm talking about, yo, this is so close. He's late in the game, man. He's late. You know what I'm saying? I woke up in 98. He's late. This 2019. They talking about collapsing the dollar next month. It's supposed to be in February, so they late. You feel me? Uh, what else? The World War III. Russia just landed in Venezuela. America saying, get the hell out. Telling Russia to get the hell out of Venezuela. It's the new Cuban Missile Crisis all over again. Right, right now. Uh, they over, they fighting over Syria. Russia's back in Syria. Russia's back in Iran. And Turkey. Where are the Caucasus Mountains? Huh? Where are the Caucasus Mountains? Uh, Georgia, Russia. Yeah, that's what they over there fighting over in that area. Yeah. But, yeah, right. man. But this is uh, Revelation chapter 11, just to back up. Uh, right, that's support. Ezekiel 38, too, that I just said to y'all with all the names. Ezekiel 38, you're going to see them names there. You know? All right, go ahead. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, The second world is past, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Right. So, the third, the second world is past, and behold, the third world coming quickly. All right, World War II uh, ended in 19, uh, 40, 1945, but he said, "Behold, the third world coming quickly, meaning World War III." So, in the midst of in the midst of, of this age, war, war, famine, death, all these things are about to happen. Right? The Lord said, "We supposed to watch, keep, uh, watch the prophecies, keep eye in, um, in the prophecies." Second Ezra chapter nine. Yep. So therefore, this yeah, this World War Three <laughs> is going to be fighting with nuclear missiles with fire. Yeah. All right. Because this this that was going to make the lake of fire. All right. Storm uh, going to be hitting from California all the way to Florida. Okay. Um, yeah. Russia just showed it. They showed a diagram of them blowing up Florida. You seen that? Oh yeah. <laughs> they showed missiles falling down on Florida. Well, y'all seen I, it? I have a book. I haven't seen that. No, I haven't. But I have, what, a, I have like what about uh, the president, the president, David, uh, president, the president, uh, yeah, David from Russia. President, right, they had a, a choir singing, and the whole song over, over there in Russia of bombing America, talking about a nuclear, a nuclear missile coming over here to bomb America. So these other nations, part of the prophecy, is going to raise up against this war, America, all right, to destroy America. Which is in, in Revelation chapter 19, it says 2 million missiles are going to get shot off and hit the shores of America. 200 million. 200 million. I'm, right. not, I'm not disagreeing with you, brother. Uh -huh. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. Revelation, uh, um, thing Isaiah is, 9 to 5. When you say World War III, I mean, ever since the advent of the internet, you know there was Russian spies over here during the late 60s, early 70s, when the internet was about to get online. Um, unfortunately, if y'all want to do more research into this, ever since the advent of technology, the internet, what you're using right now, what you all are using, that has been the um, that has been the conduit, the wherewithal for them to do what they did, because they did it right in front of them. Matter of fact, you got an attorney general that's in his office right now, like, okay, I can't put this shit out because if we put this shit out, well, you know, 
It's in the advancement of American security. Look, what, what's happening right now is what you're preaching. It's just not done with bombs. It's done through bites. Not bombs, bites. Why do you think... This Memory is, hug, you said. The scriptures, and the scripture says, if any man will speak to the law, to the testimony, it's no light in them. Yeah, so light again. The Lord said, <laughs> the Lord said, this place is going to be destroyed. We ought to obey you. How about you shot rather than men? So anybody speaking contrary against this word and teaching out of their own opinion, all right, I'm it's not, going to come to nothing. I'm not speaking contrary. I'm just asking questions. That's all. all right, so, oh, that was a question. All right, my bad. That was a question. No, no, he was asking a question. That wasn't a statement. Go ahead. So more of a statement. Hey, good point. More of a statement. Oh, he was. It was a statement. Yeah. Oh, he was right for cutting you then. Yeah. No, it's all. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, look. Hey, you know, inside jokes, man. Basically, saying the technology is advancing the internet was used as a conduit for them to uh, do their wicked deeds or whatever, right? But the same platform was used to promote the truth. But now you got brothers all the way in the Philippines, Jamaica. Europe, Australia, everywhere professing this truth. God, all right, so so just like how the the, the, the devil tried to use um, the sources of, of, of this world to promote wickedness, the Most High can do the same thing. Right. Look at that real quick too. See that? Read that title. Russia shows nuclear missile capability over Florida. See that? The title. Right. Now let's get the picture. Let's see if I get the picture here. They show this. You see that? That's Florida right there. Keep it. You see it? What's that I can pick it. West Florida? Um, Melbourne. Man, Tampa. look, that missile hit west. Oh, it's going to hit everywhere. All over Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and, and thinking like, uh, that was last year. American can get, can, can get fucked up. Two navies coming from the west coast and east coast. An army coming up from the uh, from the south through Mexico. Another army coming up coming from the north through Canada. Even through it's completely that's and that's what an old uh, ex um, uh, uh, general said. He said if, if Russia really wanted to attack America, all they had to do was come through Canada. Yep. There's no defense for America. And that goes with the Bible, man. Those they're gonna come from the north. The Russia Russia gonna come from the north, <laughs> and they gonna bomb this place. Man. And, and on top of that, Russia's what 50 miles off the coast of Alaska. You know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. too far away. Yeah. <laughs> they got that missile. They got the missile called the Avangard. And that shit can't be stopped. You heard about the invincible missile? Come on. I'll show you that too, real quick. Before you, you know. Call that Satan. You're going to see everything. Call that Satan. My bad. Oh, you, you, you saw. I, yeah. I got a real question, not a statement. No. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, bro? Um, other than, of course, you know, uh, you, you're, you're preaching, you're teaching. What else do you do? When you say do the work, what, what do you do? Explain that to me. Uh, well, the work is, one, the work starts with yourself. Studying to show yourself approved, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know, that, uh, that you should not be ashamed in teaching. And getting the mold out of your own eye first before I try to get the mold out of your eye. You know what I mean? It starts there first with yourself. The, the first battle starts with yourself. Gotcha. And then after that, our job is to come out here and wake up whoever, fish to a sea of people. He said, I will make you fishers of men. Ain't that what he said? Huh. So we, our job is to cast out that line. He said there's going to be a line that goes out for the kingdom. And we, our job is to be the fisher that cast it out. To what? A sea of people. We ain't, ain't our job to say who's who. You know? I ain't going to say, uh, nah, he ain't going to, you know? Whoever bite. Uh, huh? Whoever bite. Uh, Whoever bite. Right? And you jumped out the water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we're trying to get the fishing line ready. Right <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's happening? What's <laughs> I don't want to say know how to respond to him earlier, man. He came out of nowhere. But uh, besides that, it's building your house around the truth, right? And then building each other up. That's it. This is the kingdom right here. The Lord said the kingdom of heaven is, is within you. We're not supposed to go out and start no community services. No, no temples. The Lord don't deal with temples made with hands. He said, render to Caesar what is Caesar's. So we pay our taxes just like, you know, just like everybody else. Uh, and the Lord proved to us 2,000 years ago that we didn't have to carry things with us. We can we can go teach without anything. And he'll protect us and, and provide for us. So my job is not to provide for you. You know what I mean? Oh, no. No, no, you feel me? So that's his job to provide. So that's the work. That's all we're sent here to do, is to teach every week the way the Lord did. When Yahweh Shah was on the scene, he came out once a week and taught this truth to his people. And they killed him for that. Our job is to walk in the same footsteps and do that every week. 
But you gotta be able to study to do that. Yeah, he wanna come back and listen, right? You need to. Hey, bro. Bro. So, but it might not be for him, so, you know, it's all good. Yeah, he ain't coming all right, back. Bro. Yeah, all right, bro. Yeah. All right. So, he ain't coming back. Footsteps is set towards uh, destruction. Oh, come on. I was just grabbing this one. Okay. So, but that's the work. And we do that every week. That's your life. You know, we wasn't taught that when we was younger. You know what I'm saying? When we was younger, we was just taught to fake it to make it or just just make it how we, however we got to. We taught Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy, Esau. Oh, the Bible, the Bible tell you just be a good person. The Lord don't care if you're a good person. Esau, Esau will help you across the street, but at the same time, he put you in slavery. You see that? Go on. <laughs> so the Lord wants us to, to be a good person is to do his will. To find out what the Father's will is and do it. That's the word. And that's what we should glorify in. Yeah, invisible, invincible missile, right? What's that? <laughs> oh, that's the name of the missile. You can read them. Oh, yeah. Well, here you go. Russian missiles. Uh, you got the, the Kinzhal. That's also uh, an infinite missile that has no, basically no destination. It can travel infinite. The Sarmat, the Avangard, those three are also non unstoppable. The Berefnistic, the Poseidon, that's also a, uh, it's a drone, a, a underwater drone. You know what I'm saying? It basically calls uh, tsunamis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, radioactive tsunamis. The Persevit, that's a laser. And the Satan 1 and the Satan 2. That's right. Alright, all those, uh, the Satan 1 and the Satan 2 are ICBMs. He just came out with these last year and this year. All these are called invincible missiles. They cannot be stopped by any defense system. And that's biblical. Man, he ain't pissed off, man. That, that's biblical. Also, uh, there's a video that Warner Oxford, he showed me. They're, uh, they're also waging uh, warfare with the satellites. Imagine, what, you know, what makes America so powerful is their global, their GPS and stuff like that, their communication, they, all the technological advances. Right. So imagine... <laughs> Uh, so what the other countries doing right now? They're doing satellites with arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're building satellites that's that's doing kamikaze strikes on other satellites. That's gonna knock out an entire grid view of the entire uh, global position system. Yeah. Not they, not they blind. Okay, they, yeah. they they planes can't do nothing. They uh they, they phones can't do nothing. Now they just they they don't know where the fuck they're going. What makes them so powerful is also what makes them so uh so broke. And that's what these other nations are gonna uh, start doing uh during uh during the third world war when it breaks off as well. Right, man. You got anything else you want to bring up? Uh, and this uh, the Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. So everything that you see here. Everything that's going on, people walking to and fro, their jobs, everything, all that's going to come. It's going to be brought or not. It's going to be destroyed through, through fire. And right. you mentioned uh, Solomon and Gomorrah earlier, all right? Hey, this place going to be that same judgment, all right? As America, Even worse. Babylon, which is America, all right? It's, it's, it's spiritually Sodom and spiritually Egypt. All right, thank you all. This is Isaiah chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So back in the ancient world, at the time, we fought with a shield and we fought with a sword. Alright? Close, close. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this is a prophecy spoken by in the Old Testament saying that in these times, that in World War III, that this fight, this fight in battle is going to be fighting with fuel of fire. What's going to make that fuel of fire? By the um, nuclear missiles. Alright? That's going to get shot off over here in America and destroy this shit. So that's the only that, so so the only way out is to seek the face of Yahweh by shooting out a shot. All right. So it's um. What, what, what's we the other one? one. We got one. Oh. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter nine verse one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself." And right. when that, how, so like, how do you measure, measure the time? Because you got to read the scriptures. You got to read the prophecies. The scriptures say the spirit of the Lord. You know. The church is like, I got the spirit of the Lord within me. You know, they, <laughs> they do all that. The, 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 right, the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of truth, as we're trying to show the, the truth. And the spirit of prophecy. Prophecy comes from the word pre, right? For sign, which means to say. All right? So to say something before it happens from the scriptures. See that? 
and it's going to happen according to the book. Quick interjection. And, and, and so we measure, this, measure the times diligently in themselves by the Bible and watching the news, what's going on. Not just watching it like I got a glimpse. No. You go home tonight and you doing what your family won't do. You know? And it's digging, digging. Just so you can warn them. Because they ain't going to believe you. You try to tell them, they're going to be like, look at you all crazy, picking you apart. I know you, man, you went to the same school as me, man. You don't know nothing, right? But what happened when you prove it and then it happens? What happened when you prove everything according to the scriptures and then it happens? That's what we say. You know what I mean? All right, go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth right. and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written for the time is at hand. Right, whether you read it or not, or whether you hear it from your brothers. If you keep these things that are written in this book, you bless. If you don't, you curse. That's just it. 16. 16, 11. 16, 11. Yeah, this, this is King James. Yeah. You know King James is black, right? You know that? Well, you believe the lie. Proof. Prove it. You got a picture? <laughs> yeah, but I can, I can give you edification on it, too. Yeah, you put uh, it up for the history, structure. King James was from the line of the Swartz family, the Swartzes. That's where you started. And you find his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, she got locks in the head. She was a black woman. Schwartz he, means black. It's like name, no, you good. I was about to go there, but I didn't want to. Come on. Because you know. it's, a, it's, it's a tradition over in uh, Sweden uh, where Santa Claus has a slave with him called Schwartz Pete, yep. Black Pete. Yep. And yep. now they say it was a white dude covered in soot. But it was really a uh, so-called uh, black person. Yep. It's like, yeah. Now you can hear all the leprechaun, the, um, the leprechaun people, hear all them was black. Sweet. They, they still practice like it. Uh, well, 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 um, not the leprechauns, but the, the, the Scottish people well, and all them, they, they, they were black. Called. The first Scottish people <laughs> were black. They killed us all. You know? That's him. And get what that name means. Right? King James? James means Jacob. King Jacob. He fought against the Protestant, uh, the Catholic Church. He was a Protestant. <laughs> he was a protester yeah, against yeah. the Catholic Church. Yeah, Presbyterian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Presbyterian like elders and something like that. Yeah, yeah, but you got to be an elder. You, get you got to desire the sincere milk of the word first, and you got to grow up by this word. Everybody that comes to this truth, you got to disown everything. You got to pour out that bottle of wine, and put in the new wine. Not, the, not from the cup of the whore from the system, but the new wine from the scriptures. You know, and it takes a lot of humility and humbleness to do that. You know, each brother has done that. You have to break your pride, embarrass yourself. You know, admit you don't know, but, you know, that take a lot. Well, we men. It take a lot to admit that. So I might admit it when I walk away. You <laughs> 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 walk away like, damn, yeah, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Right? At some point, you, you gotta do this work, man. Uh, 